Okay, in this video, Mr. Song and I are going to be talking about how to make a scatter plot and our first ever regression with the HP Prime Calculator. So, first, simple scatter plot with the x value 2, y value 1, and then 3, 0, negative 1, positive 3, 0, 2, and 5, negative 4. So, what? Uh, describe the set of data. Mm -hmm. With it's, mm -hmm. um, it's negative, mm -hmm. right? Because it's looking at from left to right, the trend is going downward, and the the plot is pretty close together. So I would say it's moderately strong. Mm -hmm. So strong, negative. So let's put those words down as the answer to part B. So strong negative and linear in part C we're asked to calculate the mean of the x values so if we take the mean of these values the calculator can do this pretty quick mm -hmm. in the stat yeah. yep. so you press stat uh -oh. DFN. Okay, so let's uh, do that again for yeah. them. Okay, so so from the columns, from once the you columns, see the yeah, right, and I press the number, mm -hmm. right? It's over here in the stat, right? And then you see the x at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You press x. Super. So the mean of the x values is one point eight. So in number, then on the touch screen in the bottom right corner is stats and then you select x and you see there's a little dot beside the x now and you can see then that the mean of the x values at the top is 1.8 and very easily if you press the y at the bottom then you can get the y bar the mean of the y values 0 0.4 that's a nice feature all right now we are going to cho choose two representative points from the data and create a line of best fit. So a line of best fit is the one you've done for a few years and we're gonna do it by hand and then we'll move forward from there. I would say four of those points look like any combination. Oh yeah, that looks better. Which two are you picking? Um, if I do this, it won't be any two particular points on the data, but it'll be from there, maybe there. Okay. So Should let's draw that in. Just draw using different color. Maybe oh, that's a good one. idea. Sorry, Peter. And to find a line, we know that we can do it finding the slope and the y-intercept. Can we read either of those off there easily? Yes. This one is one comma four. Negative one comma four. Negative one comma four. And this one is four comma negative two. Okay, so from there, the mm -hmm. slope would be negative six over three, so one half. No, that doesn't make sense. Negative six over five. Okay, so y equals negative six fifths x and you gonna trust yourself on that? Uh, no, I can't. It's not going through a nice clear intersection, so I have to solve for d. All right. So if we insert either of those green points that we've generated, let's take negative two and replace it for the y value and four replace it for the x value, and you end up with negative two, negative 24 over five, and they, uh, they can't see it. There we go. Common denominator. And piece it all together. So 
14 over 5. Brilliant. Okay, so this is our line of best fit. It's pretty good. Humans are all right, but we've developed a technique called regression, which will get the absolute, um, uh, the line which is closest to all of those points. Mm -hmm. So let's bring that into it. Oh, move the calculator into the screen a bit. Sorry, you can't see this. That's perfect. Yeah. So we've put it in to stat number, right? Once you're in the stat app, if you press number, then you can put the values in the column. Give you a second to do that. And now, take it from there. And we'll press plot. And therefore, you see fit one, it gave us negative. Uh, I guess we need y equals, don't we? Negative 1.0789. Okay. X plus 2.342. So click that. Right. And you can see pretty close to what we generated on our own, but this is the regression line. Okay. Are L1 and L2 pretty close? The green line and the blue line? I think so. Yeah. So uh, in this case, without outliers, I would say we did a pretty good job. Obviously room for discussion there. Let's now do part H and show that the means exist on L2, whereas they won't necessarily exist on our line of best fit. Although that would have been a clever thing to do as well. <laughs> so H, how would I show the point X bar comma Y bar is on L2? So I have x bar here and y bar here, and if I wanted to show that this line, uh, the point is on L2, then maybe I can substitute 1.8 in x mm -hmm. and see if my y value is close to 0 0.4. Okay. Okay, so by clicking on the plot, and then tracing and making sure you toggle till you're on the line. You can then, what did you press there? I press go to. Go to. Okay. Now we can change this value to 1.8. OK. And it's hidden behind the menu, so. Then you hit menu one more time. And your prediction is doo -doo -doo. 0 0.4. That is nice. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we have shown it. So the steps that you need are to put the value instead of x, put 1.8 instead of x algebraically, and then show that that does indeed give you 0 0.4. Right. And of course, there's some, um, there's some degree of error, rounding error if you're not using the answer key. So make sure that's something that you do to get it exact. Find the angle that the line makes with the positive x-axis. Oh, very interesting. So we're looking at this angle here or the obtuse angle here. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's say we, uh, with a positive x-axis, mm -hmm. yeah, look. so are we looking for this obtuse angle here, would you say? I would say we go for the acute angle. OK. So we will find the acute angle, so one of those will be the acute angle, and they'll be the same because they're vertically opposite angles. Um, what we have to remember is the um, slope of this blue line is rise over run, and that just that'll be the same thing as the tangent of this angle. Because tangent is defined as opposite over adjacent. So if we take the inverse tan of the slope, and in this particular case, let's go with the regression line. So the inverse tan of negative 1.0789. And actually, we'll get the obtuse angle with this, won't we? Let's find out. Now we want to go back to the apps. Back to the apps. And oh, I don't know if it'll give it to us in there, but I don't think so. Back to function or wherever we can start doing some work, right? There we go. Or escape would have worked too, right? Yeah. We could have just escaped. Yep. So arctan of negative... Mm 
mm -hmm. enter and the last thing ah, oh, we were already in degrees perfect so it gives us a negative which doesn't help us particularly right right but that means the angle here was 47 degrees mm -hmm. and that means this is also 47 degrees oh that's what you meant by the vertical opposite earlier mm -hmm. perfect cool okay so the angle between is 47.17 degrees okay and if we wanted to get that directly we could have also taken the positive and i think it would have worked right arctane of what Well done. So any questions, let us know.